No, this is a really cool house and everything, but it's empty inside. It would be way cooler if it was decorated, but... Uh, where is all my stuff? Let's see. There's definitely nothing inside the house, so... Oh, jeez. The guy that upgraded my house put all my things outside again. Ugh. Well, uh, that's okay. We could just reorganize everything again later. Oh, hi. I love it. Thank you. It's huge in comparison to the... Very nice little home you let me use when I first arrived. <laughs> I got another gift? Thanks for letting me know. Well, this is exciting. I completed the Cloud Forest Garden Village and got a giant new house. And now the star tree has given me another present. I wonder what it is. Holy heck! Shiny brand new purple amethyst tools! And a treasure bag? I love treasure bags! It's a mystery every time. You never know what you're gonna get. Will it be something awesome or will it be something we already have? Let's see. Our mystery bag from the star tree has given us... Whoa! We got a gold ingot, a diamond, and an enchanted book. Well, this is awesome, but we should probably clear out our inventory and start working on our new home. I can't leave all my stuff out here forever. Since these chests are pretty messy, I'm just gonna throw all my stuff in here. Ah, nothing but food in a bag. Feels refreshing. Except for when I open my bag. Ah, everything is so disorganized. I'm overwhelmed. Luma, will you help me organize my mess? Aw, thank you. How about I find a spot in the house for storage, and then you can put stuff away with me. Sound good? All right. Where could I keep all my stuff? I think I want this area to be a kitchen, so I can't put anything here. Then this area upstairs would be perfect for a bedroom and all of my plushies. So besides these tiny balconies, that leaves us with this spot over here. But this spot is perfect for a living room. Oh no. This house is huge, but I have no place for storage. What, Luma? Under the stairs? Let me see. This is too tiny. Wait, is that a trap door? Oh, a secret basement? Has that been here the whole time? Well, that's pretty neat. Thanks for pointing that out, Luma. I probably would have never noticed that. Whoa, look at this. Now this is the perfect place to store my stuff. All right, we need to get our chests. But I don't just want to break these. My stuff will get all over the floor. Do I have any extra chests? <gasps> oh, oh. Oh, wow, 24 chests inside of my chests. <laughs> this should definitely be enough. Come on, Luma. We could put some right here, and then we could put more on this side. This is perfect. There is also ironically the exact amount of chests I needed for this space. But okay, Luma, are you ready to get organized? Let's get this done. Wow, organizing gets done way faster with a friend. Thanks, Luma. Guys, look at this. Everything is all organized. We have my plushies, all of my colorful blocks and glass. Uh, this is kind of a, a junk chest, but everyone needs a junk chest. Over here, we have my wood blocks. We have my star blocks. Here's some stone. Then we have plants, some gems, all of my decorations, tools, food, and books. I don't want to just have chests in this room, though. Since we're decorating today, we should add some stuff in here, too. As you can see, I already my crafting table on this shelf over here. And over here we have some furnaces. I was thinking we can make even more furnaces to fill out this wall and then maybe we can add some plants and stuff. Let's just grab some stone. Let's see how many do we need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine. That looks cool. And then let's see. I do have an anvil that we could put right here. And then over here, we could have a hanging plant. That looks so cute. Let's see. What else could we add? I don't really have that many things. I thought I had way more decorations than this. Maybe we can just add some more plants over here and a little bit of carpet. That doesn't look too bad. How about we put a banner on the wall over here and then fill out the empty space above these chests? It does kind of look a little weird. All we need are slabs. Like some pink ones, purple ones, and of course some blue ones. There. That looks better. Before we start decorating the rest of the house, I kind of want to go shopping. We're gonna need way more decorations than what I have. Huh? What was that? Is everything okay? Uh, what just happened to the furniture store? It definitely was not like that earlier. It looks like part of it is missing. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> You didn't see anything? Okay, I'll ask around. Where is everybody? There's some people. Hey, did you see what happened to the shop over there? Okay, what about you? Running? Okay, thank you. Something really big and colorful crashing into buildings? I don't love the sound of that. We should go tell the shop owner what others are saying. Uh, nothing too descriptive, unfortunately. All I got was that something big and colorful must have crashed into the building and ran away. Yeah, I know. Weird. I'll keep my eyes peeled for any movement, but in the meantime, can I help you fix this mess? Let's see, we're gonna need some diorite, some blue star blocks, uh, some of this blue log, and maybe some stairs? I think I have all that back home. Whatever ran into this building definitely must have been big to make this hole. I wonder what it was. Well, anyway, we better go get those materials. Okay, so blue star blocks, some blue logs, stairs. We might as well take some planks and some diorite. That's everything, right? Eh, we'll see. Come on, Luma. We gotta go fix the furniture shop. Good as new. Oh, it was easy. Thank you though. What should we pick out? I was kind of thinking about doing a multicolored kitchen to match the roof of the house. I think it would look really cute. I think I have enough pink cabinets though, so we're gonna need blue and purple. Oh, here's blue. And where is the... Ah! Purple cabinets. If we're gonna have multicolored cabinets, then we should also grab the different colored chairs. And we're probably gonna need a sink. What's up there? We have some stools. We could get some of those. And I kinda want these paintings and flower pots too. Now that my inventory is full of new items, I think it's time to decorate. First, let's put away all the blocks that I'm not using anymore. That way we have room in our inventory for some more decorations. We'll grab some tables, couches, some lights, ladders, uh, basically everything. Starting with the kitchen, we could put pink cabinets here and here, then purple here and here, and then blue can go here. That's kind of cute. Well, let's see. I also want an island right here. What could we use for that? I guess we could use more of these for that. Does that look weird? Wait, no, this could work. What if we moved these over by one block? So instead of there, they could be here. If we put some upside down stairs like this, this and it kind of looks like an island bar. All it needs now are some stools. I actually really like that. Don't know if this would look weird, but since there's windows along that back wall, instead of doing like cabinets across, maybe we could just add some shelves. That's actually not that bad. But wait a minute, I totally forgot to add a sink. There we go. Now what else could we add? This lantern is kind of uh, in a random spot. But I do like the lantern though. I have these paper lamps that I got, but they don't move like these ones. I think we should make another lantern. Oh, unless I already have one. <gasps> I do! Ba -ba -da. We could put it right here. Oh, that's nice. Now I got these really cool jars right here. They just have plants in them, but I think they're really pretty. So I kind of want to put them 
here. Do these make sense in the kitchen? I don't know. We could pretend they're herbs or something. Look how cute that is. It's a little plant. Okay, we could have one there. I kind of want to put one on the table. Let's see, we've got a lavender one, a violet one, and an amethyst one. I want the lavender one. Stop! That's so cute. I think two jars in this space is probably enough for now. I did try to put a jar on the shelf and it does not work. <clears throat> See? I don't understand why it does that, but it does so I can't put it there. No jars on the shelves. Shelves, bad. <gasps> but wait, you know what we could do? Maybe we could put some food on the shelves? Or like bowls or something. Hold up, I have bowls. <laughs> Ta -da. I have gathered other things besides just bowls. So let's see how this will look. Bowl, cabbage, chocolate pie, baked potato, piece of bread, some sugar, hot chocolate, and some rock candy. Hmm, an interesting selection, but it fills up the space and I think it looks cute. I do wish I had some kind of refrigerator though. Unfortunately, I don't actually have a real one, but we could pretend. Hold up, I have an idea. We just break this. Add some planks, and then a door. Ah, uh, ta-da. <laughs> ah, that's my fridge. <laughs> Pretend that it looks good, okay? You know what this area needs? A plant. One second. Ta-da. Would it be weird if I put trap doors over the windows? Let's find out. Huh, surprisingly, no. That's not that weird. I think it's nice. The stuff on the shelves is kind of bothering me though. I do like it, but it looks a little messy. Hold on. Okay, I shifted things around, but it's for the greater good. Ta-da! Doesn't this look so much nicer? I simplified the food that was out on the shelves. I did get rid of the one terrarium, but I added some plates on the table and some candles. Now for the living room, I was thinking about putting a couch around here. I don't have a TV, so we could pretend that a painting on the wall is a TV. Let's see how this will turn out. So I have these couches. I have this coffee table. I'd also like to put some carpet on the floor um, and maybe use some chairs. I don't know if this is all gonna fit. If we put the couch here, we could add a coffee table there. And do I have any of these white dressers? Hold on. <gasps> I do. Okay, we could put this by the wall maybe as like the under TV thing. Actually, no, it's too bland. We need more color. I want to do pink instead, but <gasps> I only have one. <sighs> Back to the crafting area. We got to make some more. It should be easy enough though. It's just chests and slabs. Ta -da! Okay, now I want a cute painting. Be a cute painting. <gasps> That's cute, but it's off-centered. Eh! Hold on. Remove. Do it again. Oh no, is it never gonna be centered? Oh, this is sad. <sighs> I thought this would be a good idea. But it's not working. I will make it work. That kind of works. I just like that it's pink. This frame is annoying, but I will ignore it. Now let's see. We could either do a couch on either side like this. That kind of looks nice. Or we can swap for chairs. Yeah, no. I like the sofas. Now let's just add a little bit of carpet. Oh, and maybe in these little indented spots, we could have some lamps. We could just do some trap doors as baby tables. And then we can add our lights. <gasps> I like that. I've made a change. I don't know if this is a good change or a bad change, but this is what I did. I pushed the couches back towards the wall and I added another one on each side so that there is more places to sit. I got rid of the coffee table just because it was starting to feel a little bit too cluttered. This seems to be a running theme. Besides that, I add these tables to the corners. I don't know if that's too much, but I really want to add some flower pots in here. <gasps> wait, we can add the jars too. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We could put flowers here and a fairy jar over here. I need a flower, hold on. There we go. Don't be mad, but I think it looks a lot better this time. I loved the pink couches, but it just wasn't as pastel as the rest of the house. So I swapped the couches to white and I put some pink trap doors to surround them. It's definitely different, but I think it looks kind of cool, but okay, enough with the living room. I wanna add a little something under the stairs so that it doesn't look so empty. I was thinking it could just be as simple as a table with a jar on it. I love that, but okay. I 
think the bottom floor of this house is done. So let's go on upstairs. I'm so excited for this part. Oh, I love this space so much. It's just so cool. I love that we can look over the balcony into the living room and then love all these baby outdoor balconies. I was thinking of taking advantage of the height that we have in here and making a lofted bunk bed. I was gonna put it over here, but I kind of feel like all my plushies in here would look really cool. So we can put my bed up here. Then we're gonna have to make a platform extend to there, I guess. Ta-da! Now if I put another slab here and then add some trap doors, we could put some ladders so that we could actually get up there. It does look really dark and creepy though. Well, that's okay, I brought windows. I don't know how this will look from the outside of the build, but I'm breaking this. Ah, oh, this is cute. We can see the star tree from here. Besides that window though, I would also like to have a skylight. It's perfect. We can see the star tree out that window and the stars at night from this window. Now we just need to add a bed. I got this new square looking bed from the shop. So let's see what it looks like. Put one here and one here. Oh, oh wait, that's nice. It's very simple. Now let's just make the pillows white, the sheets white, and then we can add the blanket. Oh, I like how it hangs over the edge. I definitely want to have some plants up here, so maybe we could put something there. And then over here, we could have a little end table, which is really just a trap door, but we could put a crystal terrarium on it. Maybe we could put a lamp over here, and then we could just add some carpet. Hold on, I need a flower. Cute, whoa, from far away, this actually looks really cool. Hey, now that my bedroom situation is all done, it's time to add the plushies. I must gather them all. Hello. Have some fun multicolored dressers on the bottom. Maybe a little slab right there. Is that weird? I can't tell. Let's add some plushies first and then we can decide. We got our slime, our llama, our cow, our mushroom. Then we have our snail, an axolotl, another axolotl, a fox, our cat, and there's a spot up top for our other snail plushie. But I kind of want to put this one and the luma plushie on the floor and by my bed. I also have my headband to display. Wait a minute. Slime, you're being moved to the top shelf. I want to display my snail headband. Ah, oh, I love this thing. I've decided that I like this display of plushies. What do you think about it? Do you think it looks cute or is it hideous? Our purple snail can go right here and then we could put a luma over here. Stop. I love this. This is so cute. We need carpet though. Carpets make everything cozy. Well, now that the upstairs is pretty much done, I'm gonna go around and add a few more things and then I'll show it to you when I'm done. It has been done. Are you ready to see what everything looks like? Da -da -da. Welcome to my house. Over here, as you already know, we have the kitchen. We've got a lot of storage back here, a big sink, a refrigerator, some shelves with food on them, and we have a big island with stools, plates, and candles. Across from the kitchen, we have the living room with these cool couches, a carpet, and a TV. We have some fun lamps that we can turn on and off. And then besides the cute decor, under the stairs, we have a secret storage room. Ta -da! Now, as we get out of there and go upstairs, this is the bedroom and plushie storage area. I love this so much. Over here, we have all of my plushies from slimes to snails. We've got my Luma plushie over here, my really cool lofted bunk bed area. I added some more plants up here, and I even added some more over here. Oh, wait, and more over here. And then the last thing I did was add a table, some chairs, and more plants to this bigger balcony. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I love this house so much. Let me know in the comments which room is your favorite. For me, it's definitely this upstairs area. I know I was inside of my house most of the day, but I still didn't notice anything running around out here. At least not anything that could have made that giant hole in the furniture shop. Do you have any idea of what it could have been? Hopefully it was just a freak accident or something. I definitely don't need anything terrorizing the village that I just fixed up. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys liked my house decorations, then make sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you're new.